drop that beat. Day 75. The end is here. Here's a lot of stuff that I've learned over the last 75 freaking days of doing hard things. The 75 hard challenge with more stuff that I sprinkled on top to challenge myself to be better at everything I want to accomplish in life. I've learned that out of this whole 75 day challenge, there's only one victory at the end of day 75. Do you know what that means? That means for 74 and a half, 74 and three quarters, all the way through the day 75, I was in the process of completing this challenge. So where was most of my time spent? Where was 99.9% .9 of my time spent? In the process or the victory? Now look at your life in the same manner and anything you're about to attempt and try the goal you want to reach. The goal you reach when you finally reach it is the victory, is the success. And now multiply or divide or whatever you want, look at the difference in the time that you spend in the process. So what should you do about that? We should understand and learn that the process and the value in that process is as enjoyable as the victory. The victory is the cherry on top, it's the delicious sprinkles, but the cake the foundation of everything is that process that we've gone through to get here. Valuable, and I love it. Another thing I've learned is it feels good to not give in to excuses like you used to. You know that feeling when you commit to do something or you set up a goal or you tell somebody you're gonna do something and be somewhere and you call with an excuse or you're, some type of excuse that gives you a reason to not do what you've committed yourself to doing. That feeling, that, that, that being ashamed, you don't feel that when you stick to your goals. And then all of a sudden you actually accomplish these goals and the result starts happening. That feels really good. Oh boy, time to clean off my desk. Set up some new monitors that we got. So we can restructure our live streams, restructure our challenges and how we're going to bring to the table more valuable content and education for recovery. Because we love you guys. Dad, is this important? Yes, that's important. Okay. Hey! workout of the day, last workout of this whole 75 challenge, and we came to play pickleball as a group. Friday night activity, we're all here getting frustrated, trying to hit a ball over a net and thinking it's dumb, but it's fun, we're having a great time. Another thing that I've learned on this 75 hard challenge is what I'm capable of. I didn't think, I usually don't complete things 100%. I get a good idea, I start attacking it, and then I get kind of bored with it and I only get about 80% done and I move on to something else. But this, I have learned that I can accomplish things. Hmm. Last day, 75 hard challenge. Last day, how do you feel about yourself? <laughs> really good. I'm happy to be done. Um, I'm really tired. What's one thing you learned? Uh, that this was more of a mental challenge than a physical challenge. It was more mental. Hey, it really taught me how to be disciplined in my time management. Um, it really taught me how to be disciplined, period, because I didn't want to go on walks sometimes. And sometimes I wanted to eat a treat and I wasn't allowed to. Well, I was allowed to, but I didn't. I chose not to because I wanted to stick on my meal plan. And <laughs> yeah, all around great challenge. Great, love it. How do you feel about pickleball? I think pickleball is stupid. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It's okay. Okay, some of us don't like things that other people. Felice, you can conquer. Felice doesn't like 
What do you not like? Horses. horses. Felice doesn't like no. horses. Not doing it. Crystal? Nope. Doesn't like? Pickleball. <laughs> Sammy doesn't like? Pickleball. Oh, okay. <laughs> 75 hard challenge, we're at our last workout of the day. What have you learned? What stands out to you the most and you've learned about yourself? I have learned about myself that I can resist the good, sweet, sugary foods if I want to. It's not that I have to have it, I don't have to have it, and I feel much better for not having it. And having better, what's the word, um, supplements? Like protein bars? They taste just as good. They do the trick. I want to know what you guys are going to eat. Why? That's the last time it's tight. I'm out of water. That's not dating. For the sake. No, the last time I was on these tight, I was starting to need blood. Thanks for watching.